Community Tampa Bay's mission is to promote dialogue and respect among all people, regardless of race, gender, religion, age, class, ability, or sexual orientation. Our vision is a community in which every individual is treated with dignity and respect. Basically, we work around three themes, accept yourself, accept others, and build unity in our community. For just a moment, think about a situation in which you felt left out because of your background, your gender, your age, your body image, or any other reason. Think about how vulnerable that made you feel. We do not live in a society of good and bad people or victims and victimizers. No person is entirely free from prejudice. That is why at Community Tampa Bay, we do not limit ourselves to advocating for minorities, but we strive for inclusion as a model that we all stand to benefit from. We are unique because no other organization in Tampa Bay provides the services that we deliver. We have nine programs that can be broadly categorized as youth leadership programs, school-based programs, and community programs. And I hope you will find out more about our work by visiting our website, www.communitytampabay.org. We have dramatically stepped up our efforts to train advocates for inclusion. We provided cultural competency training to over 300 school administrators in Hillsborough County. We engaged scores of youth in volunteer service throughout the Bay Area through our Youth Corps program. We co-organized a community dialogue on racism for over 200 business and community leaders in Pinellas County. And we led 49 youth conferences, also called Unity Days, in elementary, middle, and high schools, training 2,000 students across the Bay Area. That is three times as many as the year before. And these are just a few of our accomplishments. We change lives every day. To a certain extent, however, our success is also defined by absence. It is the riot that does not occur. It is the person who is not overlooked for a promotion because of his origin. It is the gay youth who does not commit suicide. It is the student who decides to become a teacher instead of dropping out to deal drugs. It is the seven-year-old who is not kicked off the school bus by her peers because she is overweight. It is the anger and resentment that does not build up in minority communities. It is the increased understanding between people of different faiths and backgrounds. It is the many hearts and minds that are changed because of our work. I would dare to argue that our mission is more important today than ever. Tampa Bay is undergoing a demographic earthquake and rapidly becoming very diverse. The challenge will be how such a mix of people can work and live together taking pride in their heritage, traditions, and beliefs, while at the same time respecting the traditions and beliefs of others and providing equal opportunity. In the past year in Tampa Bay, both the synagogue and the Islamic Center were defaced. A young man was beaten to death because he was gay. Racist and sexist slurs were heard on local radio. Homeless people were savagely assassinated. The graduation rate of black males reached an all-time low while their incarceration rate reached an all-time high. 80% of all youth declared they do not feel valued by adults. 20% of black children under age five lived in extreme poverty. Female managers continued to earn only 72% of their male counterparts, and women accounted for less than 8% of our top managers. Hate crimes also remain a serious problem. Only South Carolina is home to more hate groups than Florida. Hillsboro and Pinellas County ranked respectively sixth and fourth in the Attorney General's most recent report on hate crimes. Behind every hate crime, there is the face of an individual, scarred for life, or a community forever traumatized. As our governor says, there can be no denying that hate crimes steal a portion of what makes our, states, our state such an outstanding place to live and work. And hate crimes are only the top of the iceberg. Hate speech, intolerance, and bullying are far more frequent. Harassed students are four times more likely to commit suicide or turn to violence than any other student. Some of these problems are complex, and we're often tempted to believe that there is nothing we can really do about them. Nothing is less true. If we help individuals to accept themselves and accept others as human beings of equal value, we create the critical mass for change that will inevitably bring relief to some or all of these ills. By equipping leaders of all ages 
with the knowledge, skills, and tools to advocate for inclusion and to build bridges between our different communities in Tampa Bay, we address all of these issues, directly or indirectly. But we need your help. The struggle for inclusion should not be community Tampa Bay struggle alone. It should be the struggle of all of us. And let's face it, how many of us have the courage to speak out when a friend, a neighbor, or a coworker stereotypes a Jew or a Muslim or makes a comment that is sexist, racist, or homophobic? With increased globalization, the changing demographics are a fact of life. They're not optional. And research demonstrates that prevention costs 10 times less and is far more effective than intervening once the situation has gotten out of control. The decision about our quality of life is a decision that we have to take now. By the same token, it is now that we have to decide what image of Tampa Bay we want to project to the outside world. With your help, we can continue to serve this community we call home. We know we have the expertise to have a major impact. Let us all commit to doing our individual part in resisting those who have a narrow view of the world around them and preach intolerance. Imagine what it would be like if individuals from all backgrounds would respect one another, live, work, and play together harmoniously. Imagine the cross-fertilization and creativity that would spring from that. Tampa Bay could become a model for intercultural understanding for the entire nation. I would not be standing here if I did not believe that this were possible. Tampa Bay has tremendous potential. You have tremendous potential. But our vision will only become a reality if we convince you to join us. We need you. Our community needs you. Thank you.